Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Technical Tuesday. We're out here in the shop right now, and we put together a little display for some visitors to show them the uh, process for making barrels and slides. And we had a few questions actually about the barrel recently, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity for us to kind of show that. So if you want to come in here real quick, we can look at both of them. So for the slide, we start out with a great big inch and a half by inch and a quarter chunk of 17 4 stainless steel. And it goes through uh, several operations to basically rough it into a slide. So these would be like MR920 slides. At this stage, the internal geometry has been cut in the slide. The holes have been drilled in the back. The dovetail and front side hole are cut. But you'll notice the breech face is incomplete, okay? So that operation is a separate operation currently where we do uh, EDM machining to actually create the square breech face in the slide, okay? Uh, so, so you have the roughing off the machine, you have the finishing of the breech face, and then after that, there's a decision as to which slide it is that it's going to be used to produce. So in this case, we've got an MR920 uh, Elite slide right here. And so this is after all the finished machining has been added onto the slide, including the optic cut. Uh, so there will be a heat treat step in there as well, and then finish machining, uh, and then actually a, a, a deeper and kind of post-machine process that makes the slide you know, kind of have the right, the uh, the right feel. Not not too sharp, no burrs, but still nice sharp serrations. And then after that, it's off to plating. So we still use a nitride, which I, I think is probably about the most durable, most versatile gun finish out there. Uh, this gives an incredibly hard surface and then uh, also a, a black coating. So the nice thing about nitride too is if the black wears off, you still do have corrosion resistance just from the surface treatment below. So uh, this is kind of my favorite finish for slides and barrels and they wear extremely well. Uh, over here we have barrel manufacturer, so this would be like the process for a threaded barrel. So after blanking, we machine the chamber area. So this is where we're actually are cutting the chamber, we're cutting the ramp. Uh, we're, we don't cut that spot for the lug yet, okay, and that is left in place, but we do go ahead and cut the chamfer for it. And then the lockup for the, uh, the recall spring assembly and so forth is done. The threading is already done in the blanking step. Um, after that, it does go through uh, a secondary process to cut that slot in the lug. And then just like the slide, it goes through the finished machining and the plating step. These are uh, 416R stainless steel. Um, we had some questions about barrel fluting. You know, what does it do? Kind of what's the value? Uh, why do I want that? You know, when we talk about features on guns, I think, you know, some companies will maybe try to really overstate, you know, the utility or function of a certain feature. Um, there are many things on our guns that, that are extremely purposeful and utility driven that people think are kind of cosmetic. Um, there are others where it's more of a mix. So, how much does this save in weight? A little tiny bit, all right? Um, what else does it do for you functionally? Well, our experience is that the, uh, the fluting tends to kind of hold oil and lubricant well, so the, the slides will tend to stay lubricated and run a little longer. Um, I think it also gives uh, debris a place to go, so if the guns are super filthy, those, those flutes just basically act like a collection point for debris or dirt or grit or whatever. So those are some functional, you know, features of it, but really it's, it is largely a cosmetic feature. It's kind of just synonymous with our design, and so that's how we've always done it. But there are some modest improvements in weight and function, like I mentioned. So, I hope that was interesting. Uh, we'll try to do a few more Technical Tuesdays out here in the shop so you can see a little more of it. And uh, until, until then, I guess we'll see you next Tuesday.